Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Richard Conway reporting from Dublin, Ireland, virtually uh, from ACR Convergence 2022 for Room Now. I'm here to talk to you today about a poster presented at a Saturday's poster session. This was poster number 0470 presented by Christ et al. This um, was a follow-up study to the Gusto study. So uh, Gusto, we previously saw the 24-week data presented at ACR 2020. We've seen a publication of the 52-week data in Lancet Rheumatology. And now we have the 104-week data, so two-year um, follow-up. Gusto was a trial in giant cell arteritis. And it was a trial of ultra-low-dose steroids um, with uh, tocilizumab. So these patients, uh, they got three days of steroid only. For that three days, they got high amount of steroid. They got IV methylprednisolone, but then the steroid stopped completely. And this was given with tocilizumab on a weekly basis um, for one year. And then the tocilizumab was also stopped. And we now have follow-up data a year off the tocilizumab, so a year off everything. Just a reminder of the week 52 results. So at week 52, there are only 18 patients included in this trial overall, but at week 52, 13 of those were in relapse-free remission. So after getting three days of steroid and a year of tocilizumab, 13 of the 18 patients had not um, relapsed. Those 13 patients then went into this 52-week follow-up with no treatment, and after this 52 weeks, 12 of the 13 are still in relapse-free remission. So only one patient has relapsed over that year of no treatment. That one patient relapsed at week 72. It was a minor relapse and it responded to reintroduction of tocilizumab monotherapy. So no steroids uh, given again. For me, uh, this is, well, this is very preliminary data. This is very exciting. This suggests that perhaps we can get away with um, giving far less steroids um, than we're used to uh, giving in giant arthritis. GIACTA study has already changed this to some extent. So we've gone from 52 week or, or even longer steroid regimes to 26 week steroid regimes when given with tocilizumab. up. Um, but this uh, quite early data suggests that maybe we could get away with uh, giving far less steroid, um, certainly in some proportion um, of patients. So again, the bottom line here is that over half of these patients did fantastically well uh, with this very short uh, steroid uh, regime. Um, with two thirds of them being in relapse free rem remission two years um, after their treatment started and one year after all treatment uh, stopped. So log into room now for more uh, news and updates from ACR 2022 and follow me on Twitter at Richard P.A. Conway.